who founded the Walfast University, male or female? Um, I'm not sure what it is, but I'm, I'm going to take a guess, like Oxford or something. What, what about you? Cambridge. Cambridge. Um, what about you? Uh, Duke University. Duke, Duke University. It was actually a Muslim woman who founded the Fars University in the world, and her name was Fatima Alfieri. You know, some people have misconception as Islam. People don't know Islam put emphasis on education. At the moment it was born. Today I'm going to tell you the story of Fatima al Fihiri next to Sutat al Muhammadi and above Dr. Hayat Sindhi. Fatima al Fihiri was a Muslim woman who founded the first university in the world. Today is December 19th. I just learned that Taliban. The Taliban government in Afghanistan suspended university education for women in Afghanistan. What an irony. Muslim women founded the first university in the world and now Muslim some, some 1200 years later. To be more specific, 1222 years later, the Muslim women cannot go to university because Taliban suspended the Taliban suspended all form of university education for Muslim women, for, for women in Afghanistan. Uh, so there is no better time to promote Fatima al-Fihri's contribution in education. There is no better time to remind people around the world that, hey, it was a Muslim woman who founded the first university in the world. Hopefully, this studio will go to Afghanistan. It will help. Taliban change their mindset. Today we're gonna be talking about Fatima al Fihiri. The first Muslim woman mathematics educator. She was born in 880 in Tunisia. She migrated to Fez, Morocco, where she founded the first University by founding Al Karawin University. Al Karawin is the oldest university ever, and she founded the oldest university in the world, Al Karawin. By doing so, she not only promoted education but also promoted mathematics among women. Fatima al Fihri, the woman who founded the world first university. Fatima al Fihri was born in Tunisia. Uh, Tunisia is about 3,000 miles away from Baghdad. Baghdad was the center of the universe at that time because of Islamic Golden Age, because of House of Wisdom. So House of Wisdom was founded by Caliph al Mansur and then it was really established by Caliph Harun al Rashid. Uh, but it was mainly expanded by Khalif al Mamo. Uh, so, uh, Muhammad al Firi really wanted to bring his family, his two daughters from Tunisia to Baghdad. But he wasn't able to do that because the distance. So, instead of bringing them to Baghdad, he moved his family to Faj, or now known as Faj. Faz is an Arabic word. Faz located in Morocco. Faz, the city Faz, also was big on education. The Faz was really built by Idrisia family. Idrisia family was a member of Quraysh family. The family belonged to Prophet Muhammad, the founder of Islam. And Muhammad al firis family also belonged to Quraysh family, the family that belonged to Prophet Muhammad. So what he did, Muhammad al firi he moved his family from Tunisia to Morocco. Tunisia to Fez. At 847 AD, the same year, her husband and her father and her brother, all three men in the family died. However, they left a big fortune. They left a big fortune for Fatima al firi and her sister. So her sister ended up founding uh, a mosque around Andalus. However, Fatima had something else in mind. She wanted to build not only mosque, but also something else. Why something else? Because she wanted to promote math and science education among the Muslim uh, men and women, promote 
um, the education uh, in general to Muslim male and female. So he started the construction of the of the mosque and the and the learning center, which um, eventually became a library and then finally an university uh, around 8:59 on uh, on the first day of Ramadan. And um, and and it ended the constructor ended in 861 and uh, and then she enrolled there as a student she enrolled there as a student to learn uh, math and science so this is how she promoted can you imagine 300 million women 300 300 million girl right now today do not have access to the school just because they're women and a woman at that time 360, uh, 861 founded, uh, founded the first university of the world. So don't ashamed, don't ashamed yourself just because you are a Muslim woman or you are a woman. It's like Fatima Al-Fihri, you can accomplish. If Fatima Al-Fihri was alive today, and this is Fatima Al-Fihri, uh, if Fatima Al-Fihri was alive today, she would be moving to uh, Afghanistan, protesting, protesting Taliban suspension of university education for women.